Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Welcome back. I'm here with Sharon Lewis, who is here on behalf of the YWCA. And there's an important event coming up Tuesday called Equal Pay Day. Sharon, it's no coincidence you chose that day, is it? It is no coincidence because it is on April 2nd of the following year that women make the amount that their male counterparts made the previous year. Now, you know, you say that, and I would confess that a lot of men in this particular age would say that's that can't be true. That's, we're all equal now. It's not happening, is it? It is not happening, and unfortunately, the statistics and the numbers for women of color for black women and for uh, Hispanic women are much, much later in the year. So, you, so you're talking about for for uh, for for women, it's it's for white women, it's it's April. Uh, black women, Hispanic women, when does that date come? August and November. August this and year. November yes. before they make what they're men for men make, and we're talking about for doing the same job. For doing the exact same job. Wow. Well, now, as we mentioned in the uh, teaser here, that's what gave rise to Equal Pay Day. What's this all about? Equal Pay Day is a day that is set aside to encourage women to take action. Mm -hmm. uh, the YWCA this year, in collaboration with American Association of University Women, Executive Women International, and the League of Women Voters, are hosting an event called Nevertheless, mm -hmm. and it will be a panel discussion supporting equal pay for women. Now, is this this uh, event only for women? No, as a matter of fact, we encourage everyone in the community, especially men, we need you to be part of the discussion. Now, here's what I thought was kind of interesting, and I love that you guys have done this. Uh, there is a cost to get in the door because obviously it includes lunch, yes. right? Yes. Tell, tell me about the cost. The cost <laughs> is, and this is an investment in yourself and uh -huh. to educate yourself, and it is $7 for women and sure. $8.49, which represents the pay discrepancy because you guys can afford Whoa, this. Oh, all of a sudden I feel discriminated against. <laughs> A little bit of taste, guys, of, of what we're talking about and really the importance of this entire subject, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's a, now, uh, who are some of the folks who are going to be there on that panel who will be talking about that that day? We have an amazing panel this year. It includes Anna Klein, mm -hmm. who is the judge for District 214, Dr. Amy Aldrich Sanford, who is Associate Vice President of uh, Academic Affairs for the University of Corpus Christi, Texas A&M University of Corpus Christi, and Amy Villarreal, who is the Deputy Executive Director for Workforce Solutions. Wow. So we're that, really looking forward to it. That is a powerful looking group. Okay, folks, so again, it's happening Tuesday. Do we have that information we can put up there? Okay, the information's not there. It is going to be on our website, though. It is happening Tuesday at the First United Methodist Church over on South Shoreline. If you want to register, you want to get more information, go to ywcacc.org or make it easy on yourself. Just go to our website because I've got it all there for you as well. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you, Appreciate Mike. you being here. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. We'll see you there. All right. Hey,